Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are. This is an opportunity again, and this great opportunity is for you to have this moment fellowshipping with the Lord, your Father, through the gospel. And by the help of the Spirit of the Father, you will understand how blessed you are, how loved you are, and your place, your position, your identity, everything concerning you and everything concerning the Father and Jesus Christ. I pray that today your eyes will be illuminated again. You see much more clearer, clearer, and in a way, in an accurate way, in Jesus' mighty name. Romans 8, 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and, and, and death. Let me first explain to you this. Most people have not understood that what people suffer from is called the law of sin and death. And what is the meaning of the law of sin and death? Sin is saying the sin is a law. And death is a law. Sin is a law in which way? And death is a law. By the way, they are all combined together. The law of sin produces the law of, of, of death. The law of sin, remember the law means nomos or the principle, the, bind, the binding uh, authority and governing power. It means that people can help, cannot help but sin. So they will sin not just because they want it, but because there's this authority, power over them that is causing them to be slaves of sin. Even when they exercise their will or desire, they cannot overcome it because it's a law. Are you getting it now? So, a lot of times, people have not understood that what we are dealing with here is much superior than what people thought. There's such a thing as the law of sin and death. So someone is unbound in certain slavery, it's a law. You might think, oh, well, this person should just overcome it. He cannot because it's a law. He needs help and he needs another law. You see now? Death. Death is a law, meaning whether you want it or not, you are dying. It doesn't matter how, what you try to do. Preventing it or fighting it won't change anything. I mean, it means nothing. Do you understand the meaning of the law? The law is not um, this kind of law. Of course, it's not in the categories of the mosaic laws. We're talking about the principle. And this, strong, this principle is stronger than the will of men. Even when they all come together to fight it, they couldn't. Do you understand? And, and this has to be clear because I, I, I don't see you can only appreciate salvation. You can appreciate Christ. You can appreciate what he did. If you understand what he dealt with, what we had here. If you remove Christ from the equation, <laughs> talking about death is, is lack of words. Because we will have more than, it, it, will, it will go beyond death. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The law of sin and death. See, people are somewhere in that, under that law, and you look at them, and the best thing you can do is to say, you people, <laughs> like I said, that's weakness. That's weakness. 
Judgment is weakness. Judgment is not strength. Being judgmental is weakness. Being judgmental is weakness. You know, if you are strong enough, in fact, if you can advise somebody, if you can try to talk to somebody, if you can try to pray for somebody, if you are uh, loving someone who is not lovable, that's strength. But judgmental, judging somebody is so easy, and that is a sign of weakness. And so we think that's the easiest way to dodge the problem. You know, when you are judging somebody, you are dodging the problem. You are running away from the issue. But courage will do its best. With courage, courage will try to rescue this person. Even when that person is not enough, does not have enough power, you find him trying his best. Let me give you an example. Have you seen how parents love their children, even when these children are misbehaving? But they do all they can to rescue their children. Have you seen it? That is the sign of courage and love. Now, that is on their level, human level, human effort. They are doing their best. Why is it that they are not judging their children who are misbehaving? They are trying their level best to save them, to rescue them. Because they are not running away from the problems. They are trying to rescue. They are trying to bring an answer. That's not weakness. That is strength. Unfortunately, they are limited in their human efforts. But what I'm trying to show you is that that is a sign and the manifestation of courage and love. Now, imagine the dimension of the love of God and the power of God. Will he try to rescue somebody and fail? No. It will effectively do the work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See? So, the love of God, the power of God is courage, is the love, of course. It will save you, rescue you. So, if someone is under the law of sin and death, they need some help. Not you trying to run away. Not you trying to dodge the problem. Not you trying not to help. Rather, you try your best. You come to their rescue. You see this? So he says, For the law of the spirit of, of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He could not leave me there. He couldn't let us die. He couldn't let us be, walk, or continue to live under that tyranny of sin, slavery of sin. For the law of the spirit of life, glory to God, in Christ Jesus, hath made me free. From the law of sin. So he saw us. And he's looking at you. And realized that you were struggling down there. You're struggling in this and that. Oh he wants us to save you. To set you free. Because he has the ability. He does not judge you at all. He doesn't. He's looking at you and he wants to set you free. He wants you free. You discover that he has power to do it. He does not judge you because he saves you. You see now why God does not judge you? It is because he has power to set you free. He has power to set you free. He has made me free. This is what God does. He sets you free. He does not judge. In fact, that is his judgment. 
you know, this is his judgment and it's called the righteous judgment. The righteous judgment is to destroy anything that is destroying you so that you may be free. That is the judgment of God. His judgment is different from human judgment. People will judge according to the way they feel. They are biased. They are so selfish. But God judging you, he judges by destroying everything that is trying to destroy you. And he sets you free, get you out of that mess. That is the judgment of God, not upon you. As it is in human systems, they will judge you. <laughs> but God will judge that which is trying to take you away from him. That means he will go against it and bring you, makes you his own. Glory to God. This is what David did in the Old Testament. It's a sign of a shepherd. What did a shepherd do in the Old Testament? We have David giving us an example. Whereby the lion and bear, and the bear at one time came to take away the lamb. And what did David do? He jumped according to his testimony. He jumped and, 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 and had to beat until he kills this lion or bear and take the lamb out of the mouth of this bear or lion and rescue the lamb and kills the lion. That is the shepherd. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I am a good shepherd. You get it? That's how he does it. That is how he does it. Glory to God. You see his judgment? It is to rescue the lamb by killing the predator. That is his judgment. The judgment of a shepherd. He does not judge the lamb. He even talks about a sheep that got lost. And he says he leaves those 99 sheep and went to, to look for that one that is lost. And took it and brought, back, brought it back in the flock. Do you see how he does it? He's not judging the, the lamb. Even when he's broken, he tries to mend it. Tries to heal it. Not judge it because it's wounded. Oh my, my. This is the judgment of God. But the weakness of men, when they are judging, is to destroy even the one he's weak. They will just destroy you. They will say, well, since you are weak, you are wasting our time. But you are not wasting God's time. He sets you free. He sets you free from the law of sin and death. This is salvation, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.